said check one, two, three. I even got to turn that one on, so I didn't even have it in. Oops. So um, ladies and gentlemen, when I have negative 3n times n squared plus 2n, all right, there's a couple things we need to uh, know about this. First of all, we need to remember what our distributive property says. Okay. Remember the distributive property, what it states is a times b times a times c. John, could you take out a sheet of paper, please, and so you can write this down, please? So you have a times b There we go. You have a times b and then times a times c. So this is going to equal ab plus ac. All right? Does that make sense? Whenever you have a number outside your parentheses, that number you need to multiply that times every term inside of the parentheses. OK? So when I'm looking at this, I notice that I'm going to have to multiply this 3n times n squared and times 2n. So I need to remember again, how do we multiply monomials, right? Or what is kind of the rule? Remember, when you multiply two not monomials, you're going to make sure you add their exponents. So if I have x to the m times x to the n, that means you add the you add the exponents only when they have the same base. Yes? It is different because remember, now we're multiplying. So what I'm doing is I'm not adding these up yet. All I'm doing is I'm saying negative 3n times n squared, and then minus, and then another th negative 3n plus, or sorry, times 2n. So you know what's the difference? What I'm doing is I'm multiplying this negative 3n times both of those terms. OK? So let's look at it um, Look at it this way. So then if I have negative 3n times n squared, what do I do with my exponents? Just simply add the exponents. Negative 3n cubed, and then negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6 n squared, because n to the first plus n to the first equals 1. OK? So that would be my final answer. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. That's why it's subtraction between the two. OK? Thanks.